Chicago. There's two things I want here. Deep dish pizza and those Chicago dogs. Aren't they famous for their hot dogs? Yeah. I can't have deep dish pizza. Why? I'm on a partial low carb diet, which means flour and bread, and also no dairy. What? So I can't have the cheese on it, and I can't have the bread. What is pizza without cheese? It's but like you without bread. If breasts. you want to go, okay, it doesn't listen. exist. Oh, wait a minute. Well, let me tell you, your boobs are huge today. I know, by the way. You have like little pointers. I know. You know like, what I like noticed? Little pointers. Green, that... this green shirt makes me, gives me boobs. Since you keep calling me Mr. Man Boobs, yeah. guess what? I'm about to. You now are Mr. Man Boobs. Uh, look, but, but I have this. I have guns. See, I'm afraid I'm going to be pulled over and arrested. Arrested because you know of why? your guns. Seriously. Riding around with concealed weapons. Remind me, who are we here to see? So we are here to see lovely Devesha. devesha has got something with her nasal area, correct? Yeah. What is it? So Devesha was a preemie. How, how preemie? I think about four months. OK. Delivering at four months of gestation is very, very precarious, even by today's medical standards. The fact that Devesha survived that long ago is really a medical miracle. Because of her being a preemie, she had a bunch of tubes in her nose. Now, she reports that she now has a very large, dilated nostril. Oh, my God! Devesha. <gasps> nice to meet Dr. you. Dr. Nasa. Oh, my God. Terry Dubrow, how are you? Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Guys, how are you? Okay. What's your name? Nice to meet you. Yeah. I'm Devesha's mom. Being on the road for quite a while and visiting all these incredible families, it's overwhelming at how gracious they really are. Thank you for having us. Thank you for coming. I so you were a, you were a preemie? Yes. So four months? Four and a half. So how long has she been in the hospital? Like five months. Five months. Yeah. And then finally, like after she came home, um, she'd had OT, PT. She had an apnea monitor, she had oxygen, um, but after she came home, she never went back to the hospital, right? Never. never so, went back. so basically you blossomed when you got home? I did. Yeah. I did. Tubes in the nose? Yes. Tell us what happened. Um, so they taped the tubes to the side of my face, and then I kept pulling them. So in order for me to not pull them, they decided to tape it up. What happened to the tissue? It tore the tissue. Oh, it did? Yeah, mm -hmm. inside. But see, I didn't know that it was damaged inside. And I thought it was temporary. Unfortunately, we can't have that tube rub against any part of the nostril. The nostril is very sensitive to pressure. So Devesha had this tube put in. And what did that do? That caused something called pressure necrosis to the nostril, pretty much eroded right through the tissue. So the tubes come out. Mm -hmm. You have this beautiful baby who's doing well at home, but she obviously has a deformity in her nose. And you notice this, yes. right? So as she starts to age, mm -hmm. this becomes an issue, right? Yeah. So when tell does us it about that. That's where I know when does it become an issue for um, you? It didn't become an issue until I started going to school. And that's when the kids started to see that I was different or not like them. And that's when the teasing and, and the bullying would start. It got to a point where I didn't want to be seen, so I would actually take my lunch and eat in the girls' bathroom stall. I didn't really speak unless People spoke to me first. I didn't really go to parties. I didn't really have a big group of friends. So I found peace or I found relief in writing. I was a big writer. And uh, that was kind of my outlet. What are your expectations? I want my right nostril to be close or if not identical to my left nostril. So you want to make it more symmetrical? Yeah. Now, what percentage of symmetry would make you happy? 50% better, 80% close 80%. to the other side? Ooh, she's got some high numbers <laughs> there. Oh. Let's go examine you. Let's go. <laughs> it's extremely important to do a thorough examination of Devesha's nostril because there could be other problems besides the skin. I have to look at the cartilage. I have to look at the airway. I have to look at the septum. I have to check out everything with her nose. Can we have two real quick? There you go. So the tip has deviated a little bit. I mean, the skin probably a little bit more, but inside it's completely scarred down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
It's interesting, there's something else going on. If you notice, this nostril yeah. is a lot lower yeah. than this. Which is a different situation. Now that just, yeah, that changes things a little bit. I think I need that Q-tip again. Yeah. You have about three or four millimeters here. Okay, look at that. Here's one dome, here's a second dome. Yeah. So, the two bit you had on your nose did a little bit more damage than we thought. Your nostril is higher because the whole cartilage is lifted higher. Okay. Probably from the tube. The second thing the tube did, it pretty much caused a lot of scar tissue and eroded or pretty much ate away okay. the whole lining of the inside of the nose. Wow. When someone has a very significant nostril deformity the way Devesha does, it's a very complicated problem because you're not just dealing with one layer of tissue. There's actually three layers involved that you have to manipulate. The skin, the internal cartilage, and the internal lining. When you have three of those stacked against you, it's a very significant problem. See, what made your nose more complex mm -hmm. and really making 80% really hard to achieve for me mm -hmm. is that where your two nostrils, where they attach to the face, or the ala attached to your face, are at different levels. Okay. And that's not really easy to pull down because it really depends on the anatomy. And I don't know what it's going to be like when I get in there. That is going to be the limiting factor, and that's what makes this difficult. A 70% improvement in symmetry, yeah. in actuality, will be a 100% yeah. improvement. So, we're saying that we can do this surgery? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We're gonna do it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on, that, hold really? on. Yeah. Hold on, that was bad. Hold on. <laughs> when the last doctor told me that my case was too complicated, it left me without hope. I'm definitely tired of living without hope for my nose. Can you guys excuse me? What are you doing? There's something for the doctors. It's time for me to stop talking about it, and it's time for me to do something to change it. Oh my god, you guys. guys. <laughs> I could not what let you guys well, leave. What is this? Well, yeah, oh, I'm putting yeah. myself away. Free. Chicago without you're, you're, your yes. deep dish. No, hold on. You're deep. Gonna, Dish, yeah, and guess pizza. what? Best. With that being best said, best. we're gonna leave pretty quickly. Yeah. Nice <laughs> see you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. You guys Thank are the greatest. We're out of here because we don't want this getting cold. Right. No. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank Very you sweet. Guys. Thank you. you guys. We'll see you in LA. Yeah. Yes, Bye. we are there. Quick, let's go. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> Enjoy. I know this is gonna be a tough case because to try to get the nostrils perfectly symmetric is gonna be nearly impossible. But I'm really confident that we're most likely to be able to get 70 to 75% improvement with her nose. That's uh, much more complicated than we thought by the pictures. By the way, if you look at her nose, besides that, it's flawless. she's got a great nose. Her left profile is so it's perfect. beautiful. Hey, let me ask you. So I know you're on a, a diet of no cheese no and no bread, but... Yes. Huh? Deep dish pizza? Wait a minute, first of all, do you have any napkins? Because you're gonna pick off the cheese. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna do that. Look. Oh my god. It's like a sausage cheesy. That's oh. all cheese. Look at that cheese. Ew. Who licks pizza? It's grossing me out. <laughs> oh, let's get out of here. That was good. All right, shall right, we go? Do you know how to ride a bike? Hold on. Let's do this. Come on. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, uh, uh. All right, hold on. It's, it's too fast. Downshift it. Lower gears. No, no, it's too Watch out for the geese. Oh, wait a minute. This is really stiff. This could be a problem. The fountain's closed. Let's go home. It's not. It's not closed. Just wait. Are those hippos? No, no, that's a horse. It's a horse? Yeah. Look at the back of the mane. It's not a horse. That's a horse. No, it's not. It's like a serpent. No, no, it's a serpent horse. It's like it. a mouse. A no, no, it's a it's dragon like a horse. Fountain slash. serpent. Hey, look at that. There's what? a wiener truck. I'm hungry. Maybe they might have your Chicago dog over there. It's a Chicago chubby, kind of like you right now. Chicago chubby? Look at this. You know, listen, we're What's both. What's going on here? Makes me want to get my liposuction, can you? By the way, I'm very. Can I have a 4 0, please? <laughs> Hey, what's happening? Hi, Hello, guys. Mr. Chubby Wiener. What is a Chubby Wiener? Is that your first name, Chubby? <laughs> you Last got name it. Wiener? A Chubby Wiener is our Chicago-style dog. You can get this prepared with tomatoes, mustard, relish, onion, celery salt, spore peppers, and pickle. How about a protein-style wiener? 
This is full of protein, full of carbs. I mean, you're I'm gonna get all. But no bread, baby. I, I can't have the bread. Uh, you're gonna you... have like a lettuce wrap, do you? We don't do lettuce wraps here. You know what? I'll eat it somehow without you'll the pull, bread. You'll pull make out it, the bread. Make we it. We got a fork work. in here. I'm sure we Let's can do it. You have a little knife you. too. A little knife. Uh, now you're asking too much. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Load them up. Comes with fries. We'll get you a diet beverage. The whole thing. Load it. You got it. Can I? I, I yeah. You know, two chubby wieners loaded up. Two chubby wieners loaded. After all that. No fries for you. After all that. Yeah, bring it all. Thank you so much. Guys, it was a pleasure. Hey, thank listen, you. thank you again. Thanks a lot, thank you. okay? Thanks a lot. Thank you. Come thank you. Us. Look at this. This is, these are beautiful. Look at this, it's like a mess. It's like a, a hot dog salad. Look at this. I, I'm not gonna eat the bread. I'm gonna mm. try to do this somehow. Mm. Come on. That looks beautiful. Oh. These road trips are nice. We get to spend some romance time together, and I am enjoying this quality time I get with my buddy Terry. I don't feel like do that. Whatever you do, do not pass gas ah, now. Ah. Wait a minute, let me be in the front. No. I know it's coming next. Hey, hello. Hi, you? good. How are you? for surgery with Dr. Ness. Okay, go ahead and sign in. Okay. Hello. Hi. So today is surgery day, and this is it. There's no turning back. I cannot believe I'm here in Los Angeles. It feels surreal. Devesha. Hi, we're gonna bring you back. All righty. I have waited for this opportunity for 26, almost 27 years now, so I'm all, I'm all set. Hello. Mr. Vaisha. How are you? It's good to have you here in it's Beverly good Hills. Good to be here. You excited? Yes. Nervous. You are. Okay. Knowing that my nose is a little bit more complex than I originally thought makes me that much more nervous, but I have confidence. I'm in good hands with Dr. Nassif. The question is, is how much of your natural cartilage is gonna be left in there? Okay. You know, did some of it get destroyed, basically? Mm -hmm. um, disappear from having that tube in your nose? Mm -hmm. Possibly. Any questions? Nope. So Devesha has been waiting her entire life to get her nose fixed. And that nasal gastric tube, which they inserted through her nose, which then goes into the stomach, pretty much destroyed her nose. And her nostril, and the whole side of the nose is deformed. Our goal is to make that right nostril look as good as the left nostril. For Devacia's surgery today, I'll start by opening up the nose and examining the natural cartilage along her left nostril and septum, while my team harvests cartilage from her left ear. I'll then remove both the deviated bone and cartilage from her septum, opening up her airway, as well as some of the skin and tissue from her right ala, laying the groundwork to shrink that nostril. Next, I'll attach the septal extension graft to her tip cartilage, effectively lowering her tip and pulling down the entire right side of the nose. Finally, to lower her nostril, I'll add the composite graft to the rim of the right side of the alar base, leaving Devesha with a more symmetrical nose. All right, I don't know how much cartilage we have here, so we have to open up the nose. Let's get going. 15 blade. Let's see how much cartilage Devesha has along her left nostril, because I want to find out what the culprit is that's pulling her whole right side of her nose up towards her eye. Okay, she's got a real bad deviated septum to the right. Not only did the NG tube cause a major erosion of Devacia's skin around her nose, and it also caused a malposition of the tip cartilage on the right side. That is so unusual. There's some deviated bone. There's a, a oh, right there. lovely. Maybe you can stitch it all together with the PDS play. We're kind of rewinding the clock for Devesha. We're taking her here where she is with the defect in her nose and bringing her all the way back. And whether it means using ear cartilage, rib cartilage, septal cartilage, whatever it takes, we're going to do it and we're going to get it done today. At this point, Devesha does not need rib because she has an adequate supply of cartilage in her septum. Okay, we're placing the septal extension graft, and that's going to help lower her nostrils. But in addition, what it's going to do is going to help me pull the right side of the nose down by attaching the tip cartilage to the septal extension graft. Today, I have to place an extremely large composite graft from Devesha's ear into her nose. And what's worrisome about that is, one, is it going to be too big to survive, so we just are on that fine line of correcting the problem, making her look good, but at the same point, not killing the graph. You know, our challenge we're facing right now is to try to bring down the yeah. right ala or the nostrils so that it'll match the left. And we're almost there. 
We're, we're playing with it. We are getting some movement. Not perfect yet. There is that risk that the blood supply that's going to feed the composite graft may not be great enough, and that composite graft can die. That's what we don't want to happen. Septoplasty, gemenoplasty been done. Septal extension graft. That nostril came down a good amount. So Devesha is going to get a lot more symmetry between her nostrils. Hello. Welcome. And I'm here to see Dr. Dasif. Dr. Dasif, I'll get you to sign it for me. Okay. Today is my first check-in with Dr. Dasif since surgery. I'm hoping that everything went successfully. There are no hitches, no hiccups, no underlying problems. I just want to hear good news. Hello. Look at our little movie star. How are you? Hi, Miss Devation. How are you? Good. I think the real question is, how are you? I'm fabulous. And the most important thing I need to check today is the viability of that composite graft. It better be looking good. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to give you an A+. Plus. Oh, yay. I'm going to give you an A+. Plus. <laughs> OK, your incision looks great. OK. Oh, oh, oh. You know, you have some splints in there. OK. Um, big silicone splints in your nose because your septum was really deviated. OK. Got it. Right now, Devesha has something called Doyle splints inside of her nose, which is obstructing her airway. We're going to need a good couple of weeks before Devesha can really say, I got a great airway. I thought that for sure when I went inside, that that cartilage would have been gnarled half the size, something, but it wasn't. OK, good. It just said it was lifted upwards. OK. And I was able to take that whole right tip complex. Remember how it was lifted up? Yes. And I pulled it down. Okay. And it worked. Yes. I was very happy about that. It's not something I do routinely. Okay. To try to pull a nostril down is very hard. So, like right now when I look at you, uh -huh. your right nostril may be even lower than your left nostril a little bit. No. <laughs> the magic of it all. So, at this point, we put the composite graft. I repositioned the, your own natural cartilage. Okay. I did all that for you. I'm really pleased at how everything looks in Devesha's nose, but we're not out of the woods yet. I gotta keep following that composite graft to make sure it lives. I gotta keep looking at that scar when we did the ailer base reduction. And I also have to see what is gonna be the positioning of the cartilage that I pulled all the way down the right side. I have to make sure that it heals pulled forward, otherwise that nostril is gonna pull back up. So keep the cast on. Yes. I lowered your nose. You're going to yes. see less inside your nostrils. And I really did everything in the world to pull that right nostril down. OK. All right. You look great. I'm so excited. Thank you, you know, so no, much. No more weird looking nostril. No, no. Thank oh, you so much. I'll see you later on. OK. OK. Thank yeah. you. I'm so excited. It's been years since I've been able to get up on stage. I was afraid. I doubted myself. And I felt like people weren't listening to me. They were staring at my notes. Today is different for me because I have something to say and I actually believe what I'm saying. I am beyond ready to share my poetry with the world. And I have nothing holding me back. Are you guys excited? I'm very excited. How excited are you? I don't know. I'm nervous. Because <laughs> I've never heard of them. I'm so yeah. nervous. Never. No. Yeah, I think the last time she performed, it was uh, maybe she uh, freshman year, I think. I can't wait to see Devesha get on stage. It's like a dream come true for her and I, because this is what she loves to do. And she's been held back because of her fear of her nose. And this is something that I know she wants to do. So I'm excited for her and to see her perform again. All right, you guys ready to get this party started? Yes! Yeah! Welcome to Open Space, Open Mic Night. Please give it up for Chicago's own Devesha. Give it up! <laughs> Look at you, honey. Good evening, everybody. So the poem that I have for you this evening is entitled In Truth. I smile for she who sighs. I laugh for he who cries. And all the while, I hold joy in my hands. I'm overwhelmed with pride and excitement. I'm so happy that I'm able to experience this with her. What is beauty? And who in the hell set that standard? Unapologetically, to whom it may concern, I must disagree. How I went from trials and tribulations to triumphs and glory. How I spent years choking on insecurity and now able to breathe and living a dream. 
I am finally free. I definitely pay homage to the old me. And I'm telling her, hey, it's okay. In the midst of our milestone, I smile for you. Thank you. Before my surgery, my nose looked awful. My right nostril was much larger than my left. Since my surgery, my nose looks amazing. I'm finally able to interact with people and put myself out there without fear and doubt. With this newfound confidence, I, I feel like a brand new me. Thank you. 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 Thank you.